Hey everybody, it's Quad Tentura. Welcome back for another part of Mega Man Legends. In the last part, we dealt with the pirates that were here in the downtown area terrorizing the citizens that are not here. But we got the key, and now we can go on to the next part. And the next part, which is this part, we're going to go in the city hall and clear out whatever pirates may be there. Now, I'm going to be... Okay, I'm going to be honest. If you haven't noticed already, I have my life gauge is a lot higher than it was before. That's because I went into town, or the shopping arcade, and bought some things. One being a life gauge, which you can buy at any junk shop the uh, store. I also bought two new buster parts, the power razor alpha and the range booster alpha, which raises power and range, obviously. And I also bought the energy canteen, which is very uh, helpful. As you can see by the simple description, it restores the life when you, were when you don't uh, have full life gauge. So, without further ado, let's go on to the next part and clear out whatever pirates may be. I don't know why, but whatever I'm trying to say pirates, I want to say zombies. Why am I wanting to say zombies? At two o'clock this afternoon, maybe it's just been too long since I played a zombie game. A group of unknown pirates who demanded they be given the keys to the caves and So while we're waiting for this cutscene to roll by, for those who actually care about the cutscene, uh, if you have Steam, you should probably notice by now, but Steam now has free-to-play games, which is very nice because now you basically just get some free games. Like I myself got all the current free games except for that Cat to Coop game. I got uh. There's five free ones, and I know one of them is Spiral Knights, which actually is a fairly decent game. And it actually is some fairly simple, yet, in the... Hmm, what would be the word for it? Uh, I really can't find the right word for it, but they're good graphics, yet they're very simple. And I know this because it can actually run on my computer with my crappy graphic card. I also have the... Uh, I can't even think of the name, I just know it's abbreviated AVA which is a first person shooter game that looks a lot like Counter-Strike but less graphics. And finally the cutscene is blown over and now we're gonna defend City Hall. Mission start. And what you want to do is just destroy whatever units you see. <laughs> Missed. Get out of here, tank. It's, and trust me this range and power booster are gonna come in really handy in this part. Because as you can see, you got aerial units, and they're going to be quite far away from you most of the time. So range is definitely going to be helpful here. And on top of that, the power is going to help too, because they have a ton of HP. So get a high power, and bam, they're done like that, and drop quite a bit of money there. Uh, let's try and take down the aerial units before we take down the ground units, because I don't want to deal with any more units than I have to. Oh come on, really? Uh, I gotta save City Hall. Oh, two of them. What do you think you're doing? You there? Yes, yes, I know. <sighs> Walked right into my own mind. Thought it went off. Uh, yeah, I gotta take down the aerial units before I take down the ground units, so that way I can t no longer have to deal with any sort of ground units. I know this already. Catalogs TV. Hey, that was someone's house, you asshole. Say you're sorry before I blow you up. What am I? Ooh, and I can destroy a fence post? Not on my watch. Okay, now I think this is the only unit left. Well, besides that tank now. Get back here. Yeah, I'm not catching up to that. Might as well just take down this tank. Come on, go down. Ouch, that hurt a little bit. Um, where the where that flying unit go? Oh, there it is, I'm carrying carrying an orange tank, which uh, homes in on City Hall. While well, the other one's just homing in anything. Down you go. That's what I thought. Stay down. Let's see. Has anybody ever played Duke Nukem Forever yet? I know it came out on uh, Tuesday, but I have. I myself haven't played it, but from what I've heard, it just is absolutely terrible. Like, it just made some people really disappointed because of how much they were fans of the older Duke Nukem games. And then I just heard that it was just awful, like, visually and gameplay-wise. Like, I even remember someone on, these, on this forum site, he said that 
It's like, it's like Duke Nukem Forever is like being at a Thanksgiving party, and Duke Nukem Forever is just uh, your uncle or your, your grandpa who has a bunch of stories and is just telling racist jokes and just like telling racist and stupid jokes, and all you want to do, is, all you want is for him to stop. But the catch is, you're that grandpa. Like, it was just hilarious. I really don't know how to explain it too well, but I just found that really hilarious. But anyway, back into uh, Mega Man Legends. This boss is actually, this boss is a fairly easy boss, to, even though it may look intimidating. And it only has three attacks that could actually do damage to you unless you're stupid and walk into one and the other, the other one that actually is aimed at you. Is that they got that missiles, yeah, that tongue thing and clapping. One. That's not for what attack I'm talking about. That you probably can't get hurt unless you run into it. When they when it shoots the missiles, run under it. When it tries to uh, get you with its tongue, move to the left or right. And when it tries to uh, clap, or when it tries to clap you, then just run away. And then you'll be fine. And then there, easy boss. You should really have no problem with this boss at all. And then they take the head of Master Bond with away with a magnet. Oh well then. What is this? Is this like the commanding ship of everything? It looks like it. I don't know why, but these Mega Man Legends parts are just so difficult to record. Not because of like it's not because of anything specific, but it's just my own recording studio is just really dumb. Like after I got done recording one of these parts, uh, I hit restop and I was just waiting for the raw file to save. We got done saving and then it just kind of decided to say it was still recording when it wasn't. Yeah. And that's the second time it's happened in this series within two episodes. What's wrong with this? It must be Mega Man Legends, it just doesn't make it happy. What do, you, what do you have against Mega Man Legends, Camtasia? Seriously. <sighs> well, no use crying about it. Might as well just suck it up and keep going. I guess this is the commanding officer of all the uh, pirate attacks. There seems to be one big family because they say they're the Bonds and they never really give any specific name. And I don't think the Bond would be like a group name, unless that group happens to be a family. And on top of that, you could probably tell and take a guess by the family portrait that was there. I can't really tell. It looks like a mother and a father and their son. But I can't really tell who that son is. Oh well. And. Pelvic thrust! He's crazy. Bond's probably okay. To be honest, I can't actually hear anything that's going on in the story, really. Because my microphone is sensitive. Like, if you are following my uh, Final Fantasy VIII Let's Play, I told you about the little fibers on the tip of the microphone. Which makes it really sensitive. And if I keep my speakers up, then they're just gonna get caught. Or the microphone's gonna pick that up along with the system audio, and that's just gonna completely screw over the audio in the video. Because you're gonna hear two different things at two different times, and it's just gonna make it sound sloppy. And city hall's in fine condition. Mega Man, roll! Sorry to give you a scare like that. Yeah, Don't yeah. Worry, oh, I wasn't scared I'm though. As healthy as I ever was. <laughs> You're too old. There's like no way you could possibly be healthier than you ever was. That doesn't sound right, but oh well. We were able to keep those pirates from getting the key to the ruins. Thank you. Hmm. If she has the keys to the ruins and the pirates are looking for a treasure, wouldn't that mean that the mayor of this city, I mean, this island actually knows if there is or isn't the treasure? Because she seems to talk about it like it's an actual thing that exists, even though people have only talked about it as if it's a myth or legend. Hmm. It kind of makes you think, doesn't it? What? They weren't able to get the key, so they must be going after the treasure. Yeah, this is the second night in the road that I've been recording at night. Well, that was a bit redundant, but 
Yeah, this is my second take on this one part because of my own studio's recording studio's fault. I just don't know why it can't. Or it has trouble recording Mega Man Legends, yet it has no problem recording Final Fantasy VIII. All right. Uh, so if you were actually paying attention, they told us that we need to go to the Northern Forest because pirates are there too. Wait a minute, Mega Man. I myself wasn't paying attention, but I already know what to do because I've been in this game like a total of three times, and this is of course my second take on this Look, same part. I fixed the car the junk shop owner gave us. I cool. may not have been able to get it fixed in time to help you before. Oh come on! I thought we were done with this crap. We ain't gonna lose this time. Hey, are you paying attention? <laughs> But next what? Time, oh. you can count on me. Sorry, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Thanks for reminding me, uh, Mr. Um, Green Man. There goes the inspector and his men off to get the pirates. I wonder if he'll be all right. Hmm. Hmm. Let Mega Man explain. They're using weapons like they did before. The inspector might have some trouble. You're Not gonna to have to agree with Mega Man on that one. Not to mention that the pirates are likely to steal everything if they get there first. Well, I think I better go help them. Be careful, yeah. Mega Man. Oh, sorry, I'm a I'll bit tired. In the car. It's ten thirty at night. If you find some parts and that you think might be useful, like I said, bring second them back time to recording me. this part. I'll get them fixed up and attach them for you. Stupid Camtasia. Right. Sometimes. See you later. I will swear. All right. Before you go into the northern. Northern Forest, you want to go back to the support car. Because Roll will have a few things for you. Like, two things of news and one item for you. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I was looking through all the trash cans in the downtown area and I found a broken motor. And as you can see, as unusable as is, so same goes with the broken cleaner. But why is that important, you say? You'll find out in just a second. Yeah? Oh. Okay, and Roll tells us now that, she, that now that she has the support car fixed up, she can change her special weapons here, like we've always been able to do. But, that's not the only thing about special weapons. She can upgrade your weapons with just a little bit of money. But a little bit is just like being generous. I mean, these things can get quite expensive for good parts. But, let's see. She also mentions on how you can find broken items and then contact or talk to her about it and see if she can uh, get something or make something out of it like the broken motor and the broken cleaner and they might make something and then she gives you the walkie talkie which you can use to call her and then she'll pick you up from wherever you are but wherever is like being very 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 generous about it because there's not a lot of spot spots she can get you even though it'd be incredibly helpful but that's quite useful. Let's see if she can actually develop one th or something out of what we have. Oh, nothing. Oh, I guess we're just gonna have to try again later. But, uh, this is a good stopping point. We're nearing 15 minutes. We're 13 and then. About 13 and 45 minutes. Uh, 13 minutes, 45 seconds. You know what I mean. Point being, uh, next time on Mega Man Legends, we're gonna go into the Northern Forest and stop the pirates from forcibly digging their way through the ruins. Alright, see you guys then.